going to do the tutorial for the matching headbands that match our little leggings that we made before. Let's get going. So here is what we are going to need for making our headbands. We have these large pieces which are 12 inches by so 12 inches by 7 inches. This one's a little bit more than 7 inches. Then you're going to need two or two, yeah, one blue and one pink or just one if you're just making one color of a little piece that's three inches by four inches. Then an elastic piece that's three inches long that's the one inch width. And I have just a scrap piece of lace and some scrap pieces of um, just this kind of t-shirt gray material. Um, the gray material is three inches by about four inches, and then the lace is about, gosh, what is it? Three, six, nine, ten inches by six inches. So that doesn't mean that's exactly what I'm going to end up using, but that's what I have, because these ones are just gonna be used for the extra little kind of, extra little touch that I put on the headbands. But these are the for sure ones. This one, this one, and your elastic, that's what you're definitely going to need. All right, you're gonna start with the big piece, these ones. What you're going to do is simply fold it over, that's it. So you're gonna fold it right side to right side. You can pin here if you'd like, and then just sew across. It can be, um, it needs to be zigzag stitched because it needs to be able to stretch. It doesn't stretch that much, but still it makes um, it better if it's zigzag stitched just right across across this part right here. Nothing right here or here. I serged these instead of zigzag stitch. Whenever I say zigzag stitch, I can also, more than likely, you can also serge it if you want to. But if, again, if you're a beginner, just, or if you don't have a serger, just zigzagging um, a stitch along here is perfectly fine. So I've done that for both of these. Then we're just going to turn these right side out. just do it with the blue one. Start with this one. So you're gonna have it like this and then you're gonna grab your elastic. So this seam is gonna go in the back. So it's gonna look like that and like that. Then we're going to do our elastic piece. So we have our elastic here. We're gonna take, see where that seam is right there? We're gonna take this three inch piece of elastic that's one inch wide and just go like this, so it's right in the middle. And then take this edge, fold it over to meet the middle seam, and then fold it down. So it looks like that. So it's folded over to the middle and then fold it a second time. To the middle and then out. So it's gonna be like that. And I'm gonna pin that and then straight stitch right across. Here is how it looks after I straight stitched it. It's not the prettiest, like you see that and that in the back, but that doesn't matter because this part right here is gonna be covered, but that is how it looks. And so what we're gonna do is just do the same thing to this side. Here you can see that I've done both sides. Yeah, right here. So what we're going to do now is take this piece right here that we cut out already and we are going to just fold it over. And I cut, I have this one long for a reason, just I'd rather have it too long than too short. Like here I see that I can trim off about a half an inch, maybe even um, three quarters of an inch total. And so I'm going to do that and then once I trim that off I'm going to go ahead and sew it so you see, you have this here, and you just are gonna fold that like that, 
after you obviously, after we trim off the sides if it's, or the edges, so that it's not hanging over there too much. See how it's hanging over too much? We need to trim that off. But after we trim it off, put it like this and then zigzag stitch across there. So you're gonna have a zigzag stitch. Make sure it's a zigzag, because if it's a straight stitch, it won't, then your elastic is pointless. So that's it. So here we have zigzagged across here. And then I even like to straight stitch across there. And then this is how it looks on the inside. So this one turned out great. It was the blue one where it wasn't so great. And this, these kinds of things will happen as you're sewing, and especially as you're learning how to sew. And that's why, you know, don't just throw it away or just try to cover it up in some way, be creative. And that's sometimes where I get my best ideas is after I've made a mistake and I've got to figure out how to fix it. So be encouraged and just try to be creative and cover up your mistakes by doing something else. Remember our piece of lace that we had from the beginning? Well, I took that and just cut out a little piece of piece of it, a rectangle, that was big enough to kind of just go from one end to the other. And I'm not really concerned here about it matching up, like being exactly the same distance from this edge to this start of the elastic as on this side. I mean, getting it kind of closer to, you know, almost matching is fine, but I'm not concerned, at least with mine. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stitch this on, a zigzag stitch it all the way around, just on the edges. And then we have those gray pieces, remember from the beginning too. And what I did, this was a mistake that I did, was I had a piece when I first made this headband that was rounded, and I didn't do it on purpose, it was just a scrap piece that I had, and made you know a bow type thing, and I liked the way that that bow looked with the rounded edges. So. I'm going to stitch on the lace zigzag and then put that right about, you know, on the side. So not in the front. You don't want that in the front. I mean, maybe you do, but I don't. I'm going to stitch that on straight, stitch that on just right here to finish it off. So I'll show you how it looks in just a second. Here is the finished headband for the hot pink one. The lighting isn't the greatest because it's at night. So the colors don't look the greatest, are true to what they are, but you get the idea. So the lace is stitched on, the zigzag stitch, and then here is our little bow. So it's cute. This is harder to sew on. I made this style headband for Alexander when she was older, so it wasn't a six to nine month size, so I had a lot more room to sew this on. So if you're doing a, young, a smaller size, I recommend sewing on your lace, and make sure this is stretch lace before you sew on both sides. So you could do it even before you sew on this piece to the elastic, just sew on the lace. That will be a lot easier. And then this was super easy too. It's just straight stitch. Just make sure you go forward and backward a few times because little ones like to tug on these sometimes. <laughs> so that's it. I'm gonna do um, something similar to the blue one. I'll show you how it turns out and I'll show you how I try to cover up that mistake that I made. Here is our blue headband. So did the same thing with the lace and the bow here, but on the back, which I actually like, is I took some of the same stretch lace and just did the same thing as we did with the velvet, just folding it over and then zigzagging it across. And look, everything's covered up, looks nice and clean and neat, and I actually like it even better. See, so don't throw away your mistakes. Just find a way to cover them up or change them more. If they're not really noticeable, then don't worry about them. So there we go. Our headbands are done. Here are our final products. So we have our matching leggings and the headband. I always think the headband is what makes the outfit. But some kiddos won't leave those headbands on. Thankfully, I think I started doing it with Alexandra so young that wearing headbands and hats is just second nature to her. Um, what you can do to make this a complete outfit that is really inexpensive 
is just go and get a package of onesies, either long sleeve or short sleeve, depending on the time frame. Because that's what you have to think about. These little girls aren't even born that um, I'm making these for. And these are for six to nine months. So it's not going to be probably, you just have to think of the time frame of when they're going to be wearing them. So whether it's short sleeve, long sleeve, but just get a white onesie and then what you can do is take either some of the lace, stretch lace, some of um, your gray material or whatever material you use for the bow or even some of the velvet and cut out you know, a heart and then stitch that heart onto the onesie and um, or put a bow or something on the onesie to kind of make it all fit together. And it's really inexpensive and it's a way to just make a complete outfit. So anyways, we are all done. Thank you guys. Thanks for sticking around with me. Look forward to doing some more of these with you. Lord bless you and thank you again. Mm -hmm.